A Hollywood wife and mother turned AIDS crusader. Meet Elizabeth Glazer. Born and raised in New York, Elizabeth married actor-turned-director Paul Michael Glazer in 1980. Their daughter, Arielle, was born a year later. 11 years ago, while giving birth to my first child, I hemorrhaged and was transfused with seven pints of blood. Four years later, I found out that I had been infected with the AIDS virus and had unknowingly passed it to my daughter, Arielle, through my breast milk and my son, Jake, in utero. When Arielle died at just seven, the Glazers decided to tell their story at a time when AIDS was both feared and misunderstood. The message about AIDS is that this is something we all have to pay attention to. This is something that's affecting all different parts of society. We can't keep it off in that corner as um, we've tried to do to say this is someone else's problem. She created the Pediatric AIDS Foundation using a painting Ariel had made as a logo. The organization went to Capitol Hill, funded research, and Elizabeth even spoke at the Democratic National Convention. This is not about being a Republican or an Independent or a Democrat. It's about the future for each and every one of us. In 1994, at the age of 47, she herself succumbed to the disease. The Glazer's son, Jake, is healthy today and has kept his mother's legacy alive. It was through her inspiration and all of your dedication that today we know how to stop the transmission of HIV from a mother to her baby. The foundation now operates in 19 countries and has provided medicine and support for more than 27 million people. Elizabeth Glazer, a woman who took her private pain and transformed it into positive change for families and children like hers.